Welcome to our video on 7 times Marvel inspired One Piece. As two of the biggest franchises in the world, it's no surprise that these two powerhouses have influenced each other. Let's take a look at some of the most notable examples. Devil Fruits and Superpowers Devil Fruits are a central concept in One Piece, granting users unique abilities such as stretching, controlling fire, or even turning invisible. This is similar to the superpowers found in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, such as Spider-Man's web slinging or Wolverine's claws. In both One Piece and Marvel, unique abilities are a central aspect of the characters and their abilities. In One Piece, these abilities are granted by eating a devil fruit. While in Marvel, characters may be born with powers or acquire them through scientific experimentation or magical means. From Ant-Man to Luffy, to Zoro and Blade, Ace and the Human Torch, Whitebeard and Quake, and Storm and Nami, and countless other examples. Whether it's in terms of abilities or physical attributes, there are many examples where characters in Marvel and One Piece seem to mirror each other's universe. Just like in Marvel, these abilities often define the characters who possess them and play a crucial role in battles. Next up we have the Shichibukai and the Avengers. The Shichibukai in One Piece are a group of powerful pirates who have allied with the world government to maintain peace. Similarly, the Avengers in Marvel are a team of superheroes who work together to protect the world from extreme threats. Both groups are considered controversial and have been debated as to whether they bring more harm than good when they are deployed. Additionally, both groups are made up of distinct individuals with their own unique strengths and personalities, and they often come together to face much larger threats than their individual abilities would allow. Additionally, both groups have been excommunicated and hunted by their former employers, with the Avengers being targeted by S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Shichibukai targeted by the world government and the Marines. This brings us to our third point, the world government and S.H.I.E.L.D. In One Piece, the world government is the governing body of the world, with the Marines acting as their military force. Similarly, in Marvel, S.H.I.E.L.D. serves as the global law enforcement agency, with the Avengers often working under their authority. Both organizations are powerful and influential, but also have their own agendas and secrets. In the fourth spot, we have Hockey and the Force. Hockey in One Piece is a mysterious power that allows users to sense others' presence and even predict the future. This is similarly seen to how the Force operates in Star Wars, which allows Jedi and Sith alike to sense and manipulate the world around them using this Force. In both universes, you can see that the Force has many different forms it takes on and can be manipulated based on the power of the user. Both Hockey and the Force are powerful abilities that require training and discipline to master, and are often used by characters to gain an advantage and turn the tables in combat against a stronger opponent. Prime examples being Luke's final shot destroying the Death Star in The Empire Strikes Back and Luffy in Impel Down the entire time. How he survived the poison? We'll never know. The Yonko and Thanos. The Yonko and One Piece are four of the most powerful pirates in the world, each with their own territory and army. Similarly, Thanos in Marvel is a powerful villain who seeks to control the universe. They are also both seemingly fictional objects of immense power and are in quests to collect them. With the Yonko or Emperors trying to collect Pone Glyphs, the One Piece, and of course powerful subordinates, and Thanos trying to collect Infinity Stones, True Balance, and again powerful subordinates, both of which would help them recreate their worlds in their own image. Both the Yonko and Thanos are larger than life characters with immense power and they are often the ultimate goal for our heroes to overcome. Next up we have the Revolutionary Army and the X-Men. 
The Revolutionary Army in One Piece is a group of individuals who seek to overthrow the world government and create a new world order. Similarly, the X-Men in Marvel are a team of mutants who fight for their rights against government and guerrilla regimes and protect their kind. Shout out the Brotherhood of Mutants and the Worst Generation. Both groups are fighting against an established system that seeks to oppress them, and they both face discrimination and persecution for their beliefs and abilities. And for number seven, we had to come down to a tie between two different things. First up being the Void Century and the Ancient One. The Void Century in One Piece is a mysterious period in history that was erased from official records by the world government. Similarly, the Ancient One in Marvel is a powerful sorcerer who has lived for centuries and holds knowledge and secrets that are hidden from the world. Some of which were hidden before the Ancient One's time, some of which hidden by the Ancient One themselves. Both the Void Century and the Ancient One represent hidden knowledge and secrets that could change the course of history. They also represent the idea that there is always more to discover and learn about the world. And finally, we have the Supernovas and the Guardians of the Galaxy. The Supernovas in One Piece are a group of rookie pirates who have each earned a bounty of over 100 million berries for their exploits. Similarly, the Guardians of the Galaxy in Marvel are a team of misfits who come together to save the galaxy. Both the Supernovas and the Guardians are made up of distinct individuals with their own unique skills and personalities. And they often work together to accomplish their goals. Both groups also demonstrate the power of unlikely alliances, showing that even those who may seem vastly different can come together to achieve great things. Whether they are taking on the world government or battling intergalactic villains, the Supernovas and the Guardians remind us that sometimes the most unexpected team-ups can lead to the greatest victories. And there you have it folks, 7 times Marvel inspired One Piece. It's clear that these two franchises have influenced each other in many ways, from shared concepts to larger than life characters. What other examples have you noticed? Let us know in the comments below and if there's any other videos or anything that we missed in this video that you wanted to see, please share, like, comment and subscribe. We'll try to get you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.